Welcome back to the shop. Today on the 89 Burb, we're trying to scrape off this ancient, awful window tent, trying to clean up the paint with some acetone and taking it out on the streets again. We've got to do a full test drive. We drove it up and down the little 25 mile an hour street, but we're going to take it on the interstate, make sure it shifts perfectly fine into overdrive, make sure it doesn't have any weird noises at highway speeds. But yeah, let's get into it. We've got a little bit of acetone on a rag. It's starting to come off. So there's paint underneath it. He sprayed it with primer. Yeah. got our acetone and some steel wool this is quad zero very uh, fine not coarse and I'm gonna see if I can sand off with this acetone this first top layer on its first actual full speed road test.
course, no cruise control to test or anything. showing now it's showing a little over half but i have no clue okay where's the gas thing it's on uh, my side uh, yeah what kind of gas are you going to put in just regular unleaded 87 not bad at all no diesel in whenever shutting it off let's get some gas okay all right dad and i were able to get these back two windows completely clear of tent we've been using just uh razor blades and windex scraping off the top layer and then really going and having to scrape and soak and scrape all of the uh, glue residue that's stuck to the windows. But we've gotten these two done. They look pretty phenomenal so far. So I guess now to continue, try and get all this crap off. Now I only recorded a short section of this because it's as interesting as watching paint dry. But this process of scraping, spraying, scraping, spraying, all of the residue of the glue in the tent took about eight hours of work on all the windows, so not too bad. Back today this morning at the same junkyard we got the Suburban from, and they just put this 88C30 Custom Deluxe on the yard. We got a whole bunch of good parts out of it non-ac truck tbi truck we got the door panels all of the gauges except for the speedometer because we don't really need that but man we got a full set of dog dishes off of it this surface bed is cool all Ooh, kinds look at of this. yeah look at the drawers the slide outs Service beds are cool. Yeah, this was a old Bell South truck, and uh, last inspected on the road in 03. We got a bunch of good parts out of it, and it's cool to see these things, even well, if it's sitting the, in the junkyard. What about the battery tray? Oh yeah, we do need a battery tray. Perfect. Yeah, that one's in great shape. <laughs> Continuing with our junkyard haul today. OBS Lund Suburban Roof Wing. Look at that. Killer original piece. Out here at another junkyard. And uh, if you know, you know. 88, 89 sealed beams. These are coming with us. Two years only and i just think they look so good this is an 88 first year truck red on black on red yeah long bed pretty sweet truck going to get those headlight buckets another day another junkyard found this 91 conversion suburban i am going to get that uh coolant reservoir because we need that but man looking i was like man this interior is full of stuff and lo and behold in the very back i already got it out the missing third row seat I'm missing one of the ashtrays but honestly that is so minor and i also found a cool wooden steering wheel in this thing thank you junkyard gods a lot going on at the shop today uh none of it good <laughs> so well anyway Suburban outside, all the tents done. I have the third row just sitting in the back. I still need to clean it before I install it or anything, but I have all the paint sanded down to, you know, it, it looks red now. Anyway, so Daniel and I, one of my best buddies, we are 
pulling the trans on the 82 C10. And we just dropped the pan. I'll show that in a second. But also, uh, our last junkyard trip, Dad and I were able to find blue cup holder for my 90 single cab. And Dad was going to pull it into the shop to be able to just screw that on real quick while we were dropping the trans. And, uh, oops. Oops. My billet, sh uh, billet specialty shift knob completely snapped off just sheared right off so now the truck is stuck in park right here halfway in and out of the shop so gotta fix that I'm trying to see if we kept the old original shift knob for it but that was like eight years ago but i'll go ahead and take you into the shop and show progress that we've made so far we've got the cross member out we have all of the bolts out and everything and we just dropped our pan, made a mess, of course. And I wish you could smell it, but this transmission fluid is absolutely cooked. Lots of metal in it. Yeah, not good. No bueno. And uh, yeah, fluid flush and change and wouldn't do any good so we're gonna drop the trans and i think i'm gonna have one of my friends go ahead and have his brother do a transmission rebuild on it so yeah let's get into it all right just got back from the junkyard i already pulled out that piece i just went and picked up another oem shift lever so i guess i'll go ahead and slap it in and make sure that it will fit and it does should line up and then i just gotta drop my pin in there get it all lined up all right so now i think i've got it in there just gotta press that pin down pop it back into place we'll crank it up Or the truck will die. Who knows? And yep, that works. All right, eventually I'll fix the uh, billet one or just buy another one, but at least I'll be able to drive this thing again. Easy fix, just annoying. The forbidden rainfall. All right, we have dropped the pan. What do you think? Fluid change, slap it back in. Yeah. Dude, that is bad. Get some of that clutch material off the bottom. Yeah, it smells super burnt too. It's pretty rough. Toast. Like great paint. Lift up a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, 10 minutes after we started taking everything off of this transmission, <laughs> it's finally ready to be dropped. It's coming out. Come on down, and I'll watch you. see it getting hung up on anything. It's a little on the dipstick, but it's okay. It'll, it'll pop off in a second. Oh. Hung on something. This pin, perhaps. Try rotating it your way a little bit. Like, pull this Wait. towards me. I mean, push this towards me. I'm thinking that might be okay. Uh, no. Is that worse or? Oh, that's better, I think. It's a little hung on the dipstick, but it's gonna be fine. It's just tugging it around. 
There it goes. That's free. All right. Now I'm, I've got I'm, all that free. I'm free over here. I don't know what it sounds like. I think I'm going to be free. Almost on exhaust. Okay. We're good. We're good. Come on down. Sorry, this is the worst filming in the <laughs> world. a busted 700 r4 disconnected from the truck there's a dipstick <laughs>